The name of this video is Ira Krakow's Blender 2.49 Camera Changing Tutorial. Adding cameras, which have different views of the scene, and then changing them during your animation, can add more drama and realism to your animations. Blender lets you have as many cameras as you want, and to position them anywhere in your scene. Blender also has many Python scripts. You probably used a few of them. For example, if you've ever saved the UV face layout from the UV image editor to export the UV face layout to an image editor, you've used a Python script. As it happened, there's a Python script called camera underscore changer dot py that lets you change the active camera at any frame that you want. The script is easy to use, relying on a simple naming convention for each camera. In good old Blender tradition, we'll animate Suzanne and, at different frames in the animation, change the animation so we can look at her from the default camera, then from above, and finally from below. After that, we'll go behind the scenes, so to speak, and we'll look at the Python script that does all the magic. So let's start with the default Blender scene. Delete the default cube by right-clicking on the cube and pressing Delete, and then pressing Enter. Add Suzanne, the Blender mascot, space, add mesh, monkey. Press F10 to bring up the scene buttons. Click the preview button at the extreme right so you can get 640 by 480 render size, making the rendering time fairly quick. Click the render button to render. We're at frame one and we get a view of Suzanne from about a 45 degree angle. Now I'll add two cameras, one looking down at Suzanne, the other looking up at her. To do that, go to front view, that's num1, which makes the blue direction up and down. Position the 3D cursor at 000 by pressing shift C. Add a camera, space add camera. Move the camera upward in the blue direction, five blender units, G, Z, 5, enter. From the view menu, select cameras and then select active object as active camera. Press F12 to render. Now you have a head on shot of Suzanne. Let's add a third camera by selecting the camera and pressing Shift D. Move this camera 10 units down in the Z direction. That's G, Z, negative 10, enter. Rotate the camera 180 degrees so it's looking upwards. R, 180, enter. From the view menu, select cameras and then select active object as active camera. You can also use Control, Alt, Numpad 0. Press F12 to z render. Now we see the back of Suzanne's head. Now the fun begins. From the front view, numpad 1, go to the animation setup by selecting it from the default Blender 2.49 setups. Notice there are three cameras. Camera, the original one. Camera.001, the camera looking from the top. And Camera.002, the camera looking from the bottom. We're going to make the default camera active at frames 1, 101 and 201. Camera.001 will be active at frames 50, 125, and 225. And Camera.002 will be active at frames 75, 175, and 240. CameraChanger.py looks at the camera names to determine when to change the active camera. The frame numbers are separated by commas. Rename camera, camera to 1, 101, 201 from the outliner. You do a control left click then rename it. Left click on camera.001 and rename it to 50 comma 125 comma 225 by control left clicking and entering those numbers. Then left click on camera point 002 and rename it to 75 comma 175 comma 240. To activate the camera changer script go to the script setup by selecting it. Click the Scripts button. Under Animation, choose Camera Changer. Note in the lower right window, the Enable Script Links button is now enabled. In addition, the Camera Changer.py script has been selected for the Frame Changed event. What this means is that this script runs every time the next frame is rendered. Camera Changer simply checks the list of frames in the camera name to figure out if the active camera needs to be changed. There are other events on load, on save, render, and redraw from which a Python script can run. That's it. To render the animation, press Control F12. Watch the cameras change. Let's look under the hood. Change the script window to the text window. From the text window, select Open. 
navigate to the Blender scripts directory. Sometimes that directory is hidden. On my Vista machine, it's in the app data roaming folder, which is hidden. You need to make sure you can see the directory. And also, it's Blender Foundation. Here's the code. At the top, in the area I highlight in pink, are some comments conforming to the Blender convention with the headings name, heading, Blender, and tip. The name, Camera Changer, is the script's name. Blender is the Blender version which it was coded for. Group, Animation, is the script group from where you can select the script. And tip is help text for the script. The real action in the script takes place in the main function, which I highlight in pink. Basically, the Blender model contains all the functions you can call with Python. The code gets the current scene, gets the frame number, checks the list of objects in the scene. If the object is a camera, and if the current frame number is in the list of frame numbers in the camera name, the setCurrentCamera function is called to make that camera the active camera. In case you're wondering, this other main function, which I highlight in pink, installs the script link for CameraChanger.py. It was called once when you chose CameraChanger.py. This sets up CameraChanger to run. As an aside, I absolutely guarantee you that this script will not run in Blender 2.5. First of all, this script runs in Python 2.6, while Blender 2.5 runs Python 3. A simple thing like the print statement needs to be enclosed in parentheses. Second, and actually more important, is that the Blender module is not currently supported in Blender 2.5, so that first import Blender statement will produce an error. The API has been completely rewritten and is encapsulated in a new module called BPY. It's entirely possible that this camera changer script will never run in Blender 2.5. So it's pretty simple to change cameras, at least if you're in Blender 2.4x. I hope you're inspired to become the next Alfred Hitchcock by this. If you are, don't forget to hit the YouTube subscribe button and to discuss this tutorial at forum.iracrackout.com. Happy blendering!